Hi everyone, it's Joanne and welcome to my channel. So, today I drove about an hour and 40 minutes to Lancaster, Pennsylvania for the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. I believe Creative Memories is who sponsored it. Um, this was a freebie. I guess it's a pad of some sort. I don't know. I haven't even opened anything or looked through anything. Um, I just pulled out some of the stuff because the first... Um, booth I went to was photo play. So I went, I actually got in line. It's the first one I went to and there was a line and this is why I wanted, this is what I wanted from photo play was this Notting Hill bookstore paper set. I'm not going to open them and go through them or this video is going to be like forever. Um, if there's anything you want to see more in depth, just list it in the comments, ask in the comments and I'll, I'll do something with a particular um, set. So that's Notting Hill Bookstore. Um, snail mail card kit. I guess I got it for the bird. <laughs> I thought that was first thing in the morning. Uh, yeah, I think it was the bird that sold me. This one is Tula and Norbert Sweet as Honey. I love the bee patterns. Excuse me. I'm not a huge um, gnome fan yet. I haven't jumped on that bandwagon, but who knows? Um, they're even growing on me a little bit uh, more as time goes on. But there's so many things in this pad that um, doesn't have to do with it. These were $5 each, so yay. And then of course I got Cat Lover because I need another cat paper pad, <laughs> not. All right, but I thought this one was really cute. It's not the only cat thing I bought today. And then I um, got this for free, this Scrap Happy pack, because if you spend a certain amount, they had maybe like six things that you could pick for free from. I got um, this gnome for the holidays, Thanksgiving again. This was so early this morning, I actually don't even remember buying this. I think I like this paper. Um, yeah, I, I'm not a big gnome person, yet I bought a paper pack with gnomes, go figure. Um, they had, let's see. These were $8 and it's the stamp set and the die set. I thought this was cute with the bats. I like bats, I'm kind of fond of them too. And there's the dies and then little birds. I debated about the birds, but I thought they were cute. So why not? Like I said, it was my first booth and I went a little crazy. And then I got the um, ephemera. I got three packs for the um, Notting Hill bookstore. So that's what goes in there. And then I got the um, Tola and Norbert's ephemera. And that's all the ephemera I saw for the packs that I had um, purchased. So I bought a couple um, stamps. These things were like two or three dollars. I thought they were really cool background stamps. These were a really good deal. I thought that was super pretty. The sunflower was super pretty. And then this daisy one. At first I thought they were embossing folders. And then um, I realized they were stamps. Literally they were like $2.50 or $3. So, and then I did get a, um, uh, I think this is a die, right? This is really pretty. And then in line and a woman behind me says to her mom, who was in front of me, mom, did you see the windows? So of course I had to get the windows. <laughs> I'll put like little flowers. Yeah, like that. That's what I have in mind. And then I have a stencil. I thought that was pretty. I want to build up my stencil collection. I really like to stencil on projects. And then I got these, um, I guess sunflowers. Are they sunflowers? I don't know. They reminded me of sunflowers. So there's three in the pack. It looks like anyway. I'm not sure. I'll open it. Um, again, Tola and Norbert, but it doesn't look like gnomes. And then the gentleman gave me this too. So I think they're little stickers. What are these? 
etch die color with me sheet and that has like a little die in here so that was really sweet of him he was a nice guy so that's my photo play first thing in the morning holy shamoli almost blew my whole budget first thing in the morning i did have a budget and i'm gonna tell you i didn't stick with it <laughs> it was just too much goodness all right this was from the paper law I thought this was really pretty. All right, so they had these individual sheets and it's um, indigo blue, all right? So real pretty. Oh, I guess I got two of these. So the way they had them stacked in these bins was like this. So they had the front and then the next one they had the back. So you had to be careful or you would have grabbed two of each. I hope you can see it. Look, I got two of these too. I'm such a goofball. And then I think I caught on to that. So I only have one of these. I'm not mad that I have more than one. I have one of these. This is a little different. And then this sheet. Oh, I think I have two of these. Maybe three. I think they got you that way. Is that the same? No, it's different. It's smaller. And then this is the um, indigo blue, but it looks black, I'm sure, on camera. And then just some plain sheets. And then when I got up to the register, um, I asked her if there were any kits with this. So she said, this actually goes with it. And I got 15% off. The paper individual sheets were like $1. five, And then this layout was $8.50 and um, it comes with some more sheets. This was an early bird special and then this bin was like three for eight dollars and of course then 50% off and I thought they would go well with this um, this collection. This I got for um, my journals. I thought these were cool. These brads and then this for some reason I thought matched this but I guess it could. It's blue, but it's a little bit of a different blue. So I'm gonna try to keep the uh, uh, the receipts together. So when I can put this stuff away. Oh, I went to, um, I really wanted this because I loved it. Um, it's, uh, what is this called? Close to your heart. And it's the, um, what is this one called? In Full Bloom. When I was, saw this, I forget who did it. Um, some YouTuber, Joanne Bartell, maybe made a beautiful layout with this paper. So I went on Close to Your Heart, and then this is a kit. And they didn't have it. It's out of stock. So when I knew they were going to be here today, I was hoping, hoping, hoping they had this collection. So again, way too much money here. All right, but it's so pretty. I love it. It comes with all the ephemera pieces and I'm really happy I got this. All right, so that's that. Wait a minute. Um, I don't want to mess anything up in there. All right, so that was close to my heart. And then um, the lady at close to my heart gave me catalogs so pretty all right so i can't this is the new one this is the um the year one and then this is i guess the summer one so i'll look through those that'll be nice fun all right here's something cool i'm really going out of order philadelphia eagles <laughs> all right so I asked the gentleman, I think I was buying this. They had all these laser cutouts. And um, uh, I had done an um, or, uh, unboxing, I don't know what you want to call it. And Echo Park had um, this farm collection and I have it, I haven't used it. And it had like roosters and stuff. And I don't know, this just spoke to me. But then on the other side, when we're in this long line, I heard some people asking him if he had different sports teams. And um, it almost says, it almost looks like it says, I love my beagles, but it's eagles. 
So I, I still want to open this, but um, I got up to the register and I said, you don't happen to have like the Philadelphia Eagles, do you? And he said, I think so. We sold out of a few things, but I'll check. And they had, it. I said, well, if you find it, I'll buy it. So I bought it. That was a booth. I'm not sure what they were called, but I'll figure this stuff out. Um, things you don't know about me and probably don't need to know about me is I am a huge, 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 I'm just reaching Snoopy fan. So look at these laser cuts. Look at these. So I go up to the register with these and I, you know, I'm by myself, so I'm talking to everybody and I'm like, uh, if you can't tell, I'm a big Snoopy fan. And um, she's like, did you see our Snoopy Christmas stuff? And I'm like, no. And she sent me over there and come on, how can you leave this stuff behind? How cute is this? How cute. And the tree, sorry, I'm using weird voices, but that's what happens when you look at super cute things. And then because I spent, um, I don't know, 25 there, she gave me a 2000, I, get, I got the pick. They had all different patterns of this 2022, but I thought it would go with the, um, Indigo, gar uh, indigo, whatever it's called, indigo blue. I thought that would go with that. So I thought that would be cute as a layout. Um, I went to a booth and all I bought, I think was this. I needed one of these adhesive re erasers and yeah, I spent $3.99. I go right next door to the next booth and they had them for $2.50, but I didn't want to like return it. You know, the lines are long, whatever whatever so at that next booth that's where i think i got this stuff they had dollar stickers so i got the cat All right um this was two dollars the doilies i got these for my um wildflower journal because i think there was a lot of there's a lot of pink in that i got these flowers i think these were like two dollars or a dollar these were really cheap i'd have to look for my receipt they were really inexpensive like maybe a dollar fifty no this was in the dollar section on the outside wall so they were great um it's probably one of those things you're like oh i should have gotten more of that so let me just go through my pile here i have more a lot more embarrassingly a lot more um, I thought this was cute. Oh, this was the same booth. Yeah, this was the same booth. What They had this $5 um, die. You know, I don't know if that's worth $5, but I like the mason jars because um, I could make a card or something with that and put like little flowers in it or out the top because there is like a little slit there. I thought that was super cute. I am getting to the end, honestly. Getting there. So then, um, the eyelet outlet, so cute. I know I have another pack in here. Where is it? Anyhow, I bought Cardinal washi tape. I bought Cardinal brads. Right? They're cute. I bought these floral. Uh, they were called flat, uh, fall florals, I believe. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Stitched flowers fall. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. These little black and white cats, they had an example of a card where it had like three black circles <coughs> and they had the white cats in it. And then they had a card with three black circles, or the opposite. Three black circles, white cats. Three white circles, black cats. I know I got another one, let me see. These were like $2, these florals there. <clears throat> so I thought that was a pretty good deal. I put them together and put a little um, gem in the middle. I got these butterflies. All right, and I got one more washi. I got butterfly washi, 
which I thought was kind of pretty. That was the eyelet outlet. Um, I even have a wish list, guys, of things that, oh, I made one of these cards. This was really cool. So you lift up the shell, it's stuck on the paper, and you put down the little um, uh, seashells and what are those things, starfishes, and then you put the sand on it. So they were selling these kits. They were like, I don't know, he said they were like $60 and they were on sale at the uh, convention for 40, but no thank you, not right now. Um, people were buying them though. <clears throat> All right, what else? I'm in my last bag here. I bought two. These were $1.25 each for shaker cards. I really like this one for the, um, like the bee colors and the sunflowers. And then I thought this blue again was good for the um, indigo blue. So I thought they were cute. I mean, they had a whole wall, so I really <clears throat> showed some restraint there. And then this one, I always need a gray um, alcohol pen. So this is from Spectrum Noir. Um, so it's grays. It's three different pens in this one. You pull this cap off, so that's one. You pull this apart and there's one here and then there's one down there. From the same booth, I got this embossing folder. I hope you can see it, it says Merry Christmas. Um, are these snowflakes and happy holidays? I stood there and debated this for the longest time, like whether I needed it or it was just an impulse buy. Okay, let me change the word need. <laughs> if I really need wanted it, <laughs> right? How much I would use it. And it was like $3.95, but I mean, all this stuff, right? So you start questioning your purchases, but I think I'm gonna be happy I bought this because what I pictured was, if I make cards like along the one side, even if it's on the left, this emboss, like Merry Christmas, some pretty Christmas paper here. I thought that would be like a neat card. So there's that. Um, oh, this is good. This is some good stuff. Alrighty, at Creative Creations. They had a lot of 49 and market, and I bought, I'd never seen this before, but this is Yells Me. It is um, Meadow. How pretty is this pad? And it's big, 28 sheets. It's real, I, I'm so tempted to open these, but I'm not going to. If you wanna see this in another video, I will open it. It's so pretty. Look at it. It's very nature. Reminds me of Tim Holtz a little bit. And then I got the, um, ephemera bits. There's a lot in here. I don't know how many. 78? 78. I had a tag pack and I just, again, I this was towards the end and I'm like, well, I can make my own tags out of that. So I put that back and then these are the laser cut elements. So I think there's several sheets in there. Yeah, butterflies, look little, let me turn it this way. I hope I wasn't out of camera here. All right, I'm gonna have to go back and watch this, make sure, but this is so pretty. So me, yeah, I, I feel like I was like, oh, look at this, and it was over here. I'll have to check that. Um, two more things. I got this stencil for the fall. I thought it was really pretty at Creek Bank Creations. Now, here's on a wish list. They had these cool little spiral things and you, it's hard to explain. So you had your card base and then they had these spirals that clip to the top of the card, like in here. And then you cut out all these like little, like almost ephemera pieces or, and you stick them on there. It's, it was just cool. But he gave me his card and he said he has a video on it. So I'm gonna add that to my wish list. And then at their same booth, um, I got this bee pack because I thought it was so cute. So yeah, I did well. I had so much fun. Um, even though I went up there by myself, I honestly really don't have um, personal friends into this so much. 
um, they like receiving my stuff, but they don't create. So that's my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate you watching as always. Let me know what your favorite stuff is in the comments. What you think about this, right? So um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and um, I'll see you next time when I create. I made one more card. I wonder where that is. Uh, I did make another card. It's a little wolf. I don't know what bag he's in. He's here somewhere. Here he is. So, oh, this. Here's another wish list item. These were these blending cream things. Guys, you'll never blend with ink again. Although I have to because I didn't buy any. But holy shamal, this was so cool to blend with. So I need to look this up. I forget what booth it was, but um, super cool. Like a, a pack of the seven discs was like 60 bucks. I mean, yeah, not in my budget right today. So future, we'll see. All right, I'm really signing off now. All right, bye-bye.